okay recording. Elliot, you oh. Shut! Shut! <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Robo Shy Guy here. Welcome back to another stupid video idea that I just made up. Um, I made a whole bunch of different problems, and I made Google Slides, and I gave them to people, and they're supposed to make the solution, and they're they're gonna be presenting, and then we're gonna be judging them. Introduce yourself right now. I am hot dog. Uh -huh. Fucking Ethan. <laughs> Uh, my name Jeff. Fuck us. Uh, <laughs> God fucking bless. Ben, you dumb cunt. You took so Ben, long. I hope you get tested. Oh, ben. Everyone be quiet when he presents, yeah, okay? Dude. Big mm. problem. Help solve problem fix, please. I can't see the presentation. Problem. Humans have evolved so that whenever men present in front of groups, they get boners for no reason. What do you do? Do you have a boner? I mean, he is presenting in front of a group. Uh oh. What's that forming? That's it. How? How? I really can't see it. I'm on mobile. God damn it, bro. <laughs> Give everyone else voters as well. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. <laughs> you you everyone gets boners. Boners for everyone. Then why is the animation <laughs> position so slow? <laughs> <laughs> Do, do you want me to go back? Um, I forgot your name. No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Uh, easy, easy eight, easy eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. dude, I get, I, I give I that, I give that an eight and a half. It's a solid eight and a half. I give it like five hot dogs out of six hot dogs. Next up, we have uh, uh Vincent. What the fuck? <laughs> he has no idea what's happening. Uh, Elliot, where did you get this African child? <laughs> He's Vincent. Vincent. Uh, yep. Play Wonderwall. Okay. I have to read this out loud? Yes. Why don't you read it out loud? Fuck you. No. We are the council. <sighs> council kind of gay, though. <laughs> we have a problem. I'm gonna put this in. Alright, so the problem is that Michael Jackson has escaped prison and has killed 47 people and harmed 172 in 36 hours. So whereabouts are unknown, what do you do? Alright, that was a good, good one. I said, first thing I would do you would be to see- the whole fucking <laughs> This is important! Listen, <laughs> build it an essay. Listen, this is give me a serious question, I'm gonna answer it seriously. First thing I would do would be to see how he escaped prison and why was he arrested. Maybe someone helped him on the outside, right? Or if someone did, right, and was found, I would question him instead of find a motive, right? If no one helped him escape, or this is not the you know, fucking right, right. forensic files. What are you listen, doing? Listen, this is important. He asked for a solution. Let him speak, let solution. him speak. Alright, no one helped him escape. If no one helped him, or if I had no valuable information, I would interview all witnesses, both those who were hurt and those who were just on the sidelines. I would also investigate the crime scene, see if I can find a murder weapon, or some clues, maybe where he's heading. If nothing is found, and I have no leads at all, and I just have nothing, I would set up heavy police patrols around the town or city where this was committed, and around nearby town cities as well. I would send out an award for his arrest to airports, buses, and trains, and any other forms of public transport in case he tries to leave the country. Finally, I would send out public service announcements to the news stations, print and television, alerting others to him, to the criminal, and the crimes he's committed, and setting a curfew for the town and city that he committed the crimes in. To be clear, the curfew is not mandatory, but it's heavily recommended. I'm not the only person who just stopped paying attention, right? I am masturbating very hard right now. Is that it? That's it. Oh, okay. But there's other slides, right? Yes. Uh, these are the beautiful pictures. We start off with the investigate the jail. The witness. These are, these are great A pictures. And then um, that lamp isn't even shining on the plate. Listen, I had like to go somewhere. Oh, you know, I had to go yeah. somewhere. So I, I did this in like five seconds. <laughs> uh, this is me by the I'm hot and I'm checking out footsteps. There's the guards and there's the warrant and no, no, no news. Yeah. And uh, the conclusion, I have to go somewhere, so in conclusion, I'm right, and I wish to win, because I said so. Thank uh -huh. you. 
Anything else? Anything else you have to say? Uh. This <laughs> kitty's gone. Uh oh. T Tim's Tim mom found him. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Tim's mom found him in the closet. Well, no, I give it a ten for Wonderwall. You can give it whatever you want. Okay. Is Natalie, is Natalie gone? <laughs> she died. She's fucking dead, dude. Hold on, Mason. I'll tell you what I can play. Wait, Ellie, you have a guitar in your room? Yeah. That is not a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that was the furthest thing from a guitar. Dude, I love Wonderwall. <laughs> okay, make sure to read everything out loud. <laughs> we have a problem. No, problem. that was not everything. FNAFOCs have been appearing in real life across the globe, and they have been meeting up in assembly, and some can be heard chanting, Earn to the human race. What do you do? It's kind of scary. How are we going to fix it? It's kind of Well, we live in America. <laughs> How do Americans fix things? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> we use our little friend. Yeah, we pull a carter, but instead of at school, it's on furries at anywhere in the world. Uh, end the presentation. Why does, this, why does it just say, end the presentation? End, end the it. presentation. End <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, I don't know, I like that one. I give it, um, I give it, um, right. a, a three. I'll, I'll give it a five too, dude. Out of five, we Carter. So we got a five. That's six. Huh? That's six on the ten skill. Huh? Oh, he's oh, here. He's he's here. He's here. That scared me. I didn't know who the judges were. <laughs> Creepy ass picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, so ready for this. Uh, what am I? Do I just read it off? Yeah, you read it. Okay, read the back so, too. What's the back? What? <laughs> Read oh, everything on oh, the yeah. screen. Okay, we have a problem. Um, ooh. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you can see this, but it just it just keeps going. <laughs> good, yeah, good, good. Obviously. Um, the problem is you're starving, you need food, and when you finally come across something edible, it's, it is Popeye's biscuits, and you don't have any drinks. What do you do? So I thought of the problem really uh, heavily, and I uh, mm. found a solution. We're going to fix it. I'm going to eat the biscuit and proceed to uh, piss <laughs> up into my mouth. And I've never had the biscuits here before, so I'm, I'm guessing they're dry. They That's are. That's why there's no water. Okay, cool. Is, uh, so to provide details, uh, the so first step is nom, nom, nom. The next one is gold. And then the next one is yummy, or yum. Uh -huh. And I provided pictures too. And, uh, one right. is drinking my piss, and the other one is me start eating a thing. Uh huh. Uh, the conclusion mm. I'm no longer hungry or thirsty because I ate the biscuit and I drank my pee. And that's it. Oh, it's chewy. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. I have to clap. I was holding my laptop. Do you have anything else to say? Um. Alright, he's gone. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we still need to judge Masons. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Mason you know it, baby. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm, since I'm doing it. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, you have to read. <laughs> I can't even read it. Okay, uh, we have a problem. Greg Heffley got beat up at school today. When he got up from being knocked down, he announced that he would all, that we would all be sorry tomorrow. When I was leaving school after the six-period bell rang, Greg ran up to me and said that I shouldn't come to school tomorrow. What do I do? Go to school in full plate, full plate armor. Bring my trusty claymore with me. As Gregory enters the building and begins firing into the crowd, I stand my ground. His small bullets stand no chance of piercing my thick armor. I challenge him to fight me in gladiatorial combat. It's fuzzy. He is. Greg will flee. Due to my training, he will be unable to outrun me with a clean strike. It will decapitate the foul incel. <laughs> Understandable. 
Yeah, <laughs> Captain with a Glock is a Christian name. Men and women will <laughs> congregate around me. My defeated phone, when the police arrive, I shall be taken away with cheers from the crowd. I shall plead that it was self-defense, ignoring the cries of Gregory's family. His brother Roderick will lash out and attack me, but under my suit will be my full plate set. The fool will break his hand. I am judged not guilty and take my leave. <laughs> <laughs> how do you just hide? <laughs> Wait, how do you just hide a full set of armor under his suit? <laughs> Looks the like council is Ben spoken. wins. Council is He has to come back into the call. Oh wait, never mind. He he's going to talk. Uh, about uh someone do a Ben impression. Uh uh Penis. Ben, you won. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> My wait, brain wait. hurts. <laughs> no, not the penis! <laughs> <laughs>